Is that the new stuff? It's still a mess. So thick. Some trenches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's a muddy mess. Wow. We have never had this problem before. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way we can drive in here. All right, so we are at the off-grid property and I was not here on the last trip. I had to work. Derek come up and previous video, you saw what happened. There's a few things. First thing is the, oops, the track is off the crawler. So that is a big job. Not sure if we're fixing that today or that's a big job. Second thing, he found gravel, right? As you can see, I just saw, I mean, I knew that it was messy from the last time I was here, but it's even worse. We've never had that problem here. Not sure with the lack of snow or just the way the frost come out of the ground. Anyway, so we got to deal with that problem. But the good thing is we found gravel. So I'm not sure which job we're taking on first, but let's deal with one situation at a time. getting ahead of me so anyways first I want to go show you guys what he found but he just jumped on the machine and he's just got to get this fixed up that driveway is a mess anyways so I'm not sure what the jobs are gonna be and what he's going to instruct me to do but first things first hopefully you can hear me properly if you can't I apologize but yeah it's uh the whole, we made a couple of videos last season on trying to find some gravel and with, we had the little Yanmar, the little backhoe attachment, but it couldn't dig deep enough and some of the locals told us that we need uh, to go at least six, eight feet deep before we find it and they're right. So when Derek come here last time by himself, he started digging over here campers there he decided to dig here just for the heck of it because you just never know and he found stuff Sure is nice. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna move over to the other side just so that I'm not in the jumping zone. Because I don't think he can see. As you can see from this angle right here, he can't really see very well. So I'm just gonna move out of the way. So what he's doing is the non-good stuff is going on that side and the good stuff is going on this side. As you can see the difference, it's pretty obvious. But it's pretty amazing that like eight, 10 feet deep, there's this wonderful sand there. Yeah, it'll be fun to find out what else is on this property. why we need it. Look at this mess. What was that? You made me a trail. Oh good. Because it's it's mucky over here. There's a lot of the water too. Water? Uh, oh yeah it did rain. Sit okay. Whenever there's a trip, we check. Oh. Probably gonna want to stand over there I'll go stand over there. Yeah, okay. I didn't make it there. I'll do this for like a half hour or something. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Oh, I am like literally stuck. <laughs> okay, I've already lost my boot okay. once. <laughs> So this isn't good. This is like quicksand. It's, no joke, it's like quicksand. <laughs> okay. So I don't know how I feel about that sand. Is that going to be good? Hey? Eh? It is very sandy. Yeah. yeah. But it's all we got, so. I know, but it's very sandy. I mean, yeah. I lost my boot. I didn't get that on well, video. Well, that's the clay underneath it. The clay that ate my boots? Yeah. 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 Alright. Look at all the water coming in. Yeah, I guess it is a perfect location for the pond, but yeah, so much water. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, change of plans. I was going on the machine, but there's just, it's, it's a mess. And uh, we're running out of time. And obviously it's faster. I like to just take my time and go nice and gentle. But uh, this is a serious mess that we gotta take care of. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so he's gonna do that for an hour. We'll keep an eye on that drip. And then I'll go show you the crawler, the cat. The track is off. That's a big job. Yeah. Anyway, one thing at a time, get more sand out. So what we're going to do is on a, one of our next trips, we're going to bring Yanmar the tractor. With the, I don't know if we'll bring the backhoe attachment with it or just bring the tractor. So at least we'll be able to grab scoops, the bucket, and just dump it on the driveway and just work our way. That's what the cat was for. Just be able to grab big scoops and dump it on the driveway. But the track is off. So plan B, you have to bring the tractor out. At least with the tractor, I can operate that, I can help. So whether Derek wants to be on the excavator or I do, or I'm on the tractor, vice versa. The cat, no thank you. That is old, tricky. Did I say tricky? Yeah. Anyways, those are his toys, not mine. 
Let's get this one done. this side I would have moved over but he saw me so anyways he's gonna keep working on that and then I'm just gonna show you guys what we're gonna do in the future future video right yeah so let me just walk through the bush here a little bit so we started cutting down a little bit over here because we need more room because our second driveway, eventually we're going to be using the second driveway as our main driveway. I mean, we're just going to be using both, but that one is nice and flat where here is just uphill. But anyway, but one on future videos is that we're going to have to take down this tree, which I was not. We are going to keep it because, well, look at the size of it. So, it's old and it's been on this property for probably over a hundred years. Look at the size of it. So, here in Ontario, we're not in BC. We don't get trees as big, right? I mean, that's the size there. I mean, don't be wrong, they do get big, but it's been around, but it's dying. So there's no point keeping it as it's dying. We're tried so hard to save it, but anyways, and as you can see up here, there's an old birdhouse that's been growing with the tree. So obviously from the original homesteaders, would have had that birdhouse, see if I can get a better angle. There, I think this is better. So that would have been their birdhouse that they put up there with their family and it's been there for a long long time 
That is one of the reasons why I did not want to take down this tree. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful. So yeah, I don't, we don't really like cutting down all the trees, but we have, we have to clear some out because it's so bushy. If there was a forest fire, it would take everything down. And this way, by taking down some trees, it'll help the other ones grow really nice and healthy. So we have no choice. It's, I know I have a couple of people that are upset that we're cutting down so many trees, but I promise you we will replant and that'll be fun because we'll be able to put a different variety so yeah, so for all the people out there that are so upset with us cutting down so many trees, I promise you, we will fix it. We will make it better. We'll replant and that'll be so much fun, right? And that way you guys can follow us on that journey as well. But anyways, this tree is, I mean, just to give you a perspective, right? I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's, it's not giving it. It's not giving it, it's full, it, it's just not. It's, anyways, it's a nice big tree. First, we're gonna start by cutting down the branches because it's full of like dead branches, as you can see. So for all those tree experts out there, if you think that that will help and maybe it'll give it a chance, we'll try that first, go from there, right? Anyways, let's carry on. Look at that. And that birdhouse. No matter what, we will find a new location for that birdhouse. It will not be destroyed. It will just find a new location. It belongs on this property. It's been here for a long, long time. I figure, what, 60, 80 years? So yeah, it's staying. So I'm assuming that he's moved over a bit and he's putting some stuff back in because he hit bedrock. And we are on the Canadian Shield, so once you hit bedrock, you, you're just not getting through it. It's, yeah, not unless you got dynamite, which I guess that could be fun too, but nope. Anyway, so he's moving on. He's making the hole. He's going to move over and see what's over here. So. For us to dig here, we were gonna dig anyway, because we agree that we're gonna make a big pond here. One of the reasons is as obviously, the water naturally flows down here, as you can see. This naturally comes down, right? So this is a perfect location 
for a pond. Now there is an old well, so we know obviously that the water was is here, but it's not clean water. But we're gonna work on a pond, get the clay in there, because the clay is definitely good for that. But anyways, I'm assuming that's why, well right here I know he's putting um, gravel there so we can fix this mess as well. But, yeah, new jobs that weren't supposed to happen. I guess that's part of the whole country living and off-grid living, right? It's, you're going to come across new difficulties, new tasks. It's part of the journey and it's exciting for us because, well, if we fix it now, then it really won't be much of a problem then or later. Anyway. Derek's doing all the work. I was supposed to be the, the operator today, but I guess I'm just the, the camera person today. Yeah, no, we got, there's no puttering around today. Today is get the job done, so that's okay. It's all good. I'll have my turn. I always do. It's a team effort. Yeah, it's very sandy, isn't it? Yeah. It's very sandy. Yeah. I mean, it's better than the red clay, but... Yeah. Be yes, I see you hit bedrock. No. Oh, it wasn't bedrock? No. Oh, it looked like that from my angle. Oh. I, don't, I don't think so. I didn't feel it. You didn't feel Oh, I heard it. I, I can feel big rocks, bigger rocks down there. Okay. But I just assume you hit bedrock. That's why you're moving over. No. No? Okay. No, I, that's no sense digging deeper than I have to. That's true. Can see what's over here. Yeah, that's that's beautiful sand. Like, I want that for my horse arena. That's what I want it for. Yeah, but Little Rock is okay. Because no matter what, when we're done riding, we always clean their their feet, their hooves anyway. It's the it's the all the sharp and other crusher fine rocks that's bad that sand is wonderful anyway that's for future because at least now we know if we dig here we'll get sand all right well so then next we're going to bring the tractor out because yeah, we we'll yeah because someone got the track off the cat yeah. yep Oh, little rock, eh? Yeah, it's got, uh, yeah, but that's this stuff. This, the, where it's really, really silver, there's like hardly no rock. It's like literally a soft, yeah. soft sand. Yeah. But this here is better because it's got rocks. Yeah. So that'll be better for the driveway. Yeah. It's better than that red clay, hopefully. Yes. Well, it's free. It's on the property. Yeah. So if, if we have to haul, we have to haul. If we don't, well, that'd be better. Yeah. But yeah, look at all the water coming in. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thanks. from those other fields, eh? Yeah. That's why we're going to dig a pond here. Yes, I was, I was just telling everyone about that. Yeah. 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 All right, so what do you want to do next? I want to fire up the skitter. Fire up the skitter. Yeah. All right. We'll go see on those SD cards. Job number two. All right, well, I'm going to follow you because the last time my boot got stuck. The boot stayed in the muck and it was just me and my sock in the mud. So I'm going to follow you. Oh, my gosh. So slippery and mucky. Yeah, I know, to see how there's, it's just beautiful sand. Like, it's just wonderful. Like, I want that for... It's got lots of rock in it. It does, but I can screen that. Yep. That's wonderful. I want that for the horses. Sorry. <laughs> Don't you just love it when I change your plans? 
there's more. There's there. more, yeah. All right. This, this is future video here. This is a big, big job. At least it had a scoop ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that rock right there. That's the rock that you hit. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Pushed up on the sideways. Pushed it off. Oh boy. Yeah. Nice. And all that red clay is all going to dry up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but with the escalator, it'll be a lot easier. I can lift it. Well, I can grab it and probably pull it. I'm just going to get to the to the arm in there and the tensioner. Okay. And put it back on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. For now, I can sit here. Now, at least it's not in the way. No. It's, it's, a, good spot it's it. a good spot for it to break down. Plant some flowers in the bucket. If you want. Plant some flowers in the bucket. You know what? That is a great idea. I mean, I guess it could live there. It can be a great lawn ornament, but I feel it's got a little bit more work left to do. Well, that's definitely a future video. That is not a today job. Yeah, I really like that sand. I really do. It's a good find. All right, change of plans. We're going to head back to the farm. No skitter time. Skitter time will be next video. Pretty out here now. So we come first thing in the morning and it's chilly and then the sun comes up and look how nice it is. Right? But anyways, this is the stuff that we need. Because we have a sand pit back at the farm. But you can only haul a little bit at a time. Anyways, that's enough for today's video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next one.